by God's grace, we're near the end of this wonderful 40 days of prayer challenge that we've had, this project, where I'm praying that it has helped you to focus your prayer points each day you've shared with us. I would very much like to thank everybody who has done their video as part of this project from the bottom of my heart. I also thank those who wanted to be a part of it, but for some reason or the other were not able to. God bless you all. Hello everyone, my name is Stella. Today's verse is Proverbs 11 verse 25. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. I use Bible notes for my quiet times and one of the writers, Ernest Lucas, described the book of Proverbs like this. A Hebrew proverb is not a law, it is a reflection on life, crystallised in brief memorable sentences. It describes the norm, it does not express the inevitable. We may think that if we're generous we'll have nothing left for ourselves, but the Bible says that we will prosper. If we hold tightly onto everything, we are the ones who will lose out. We may think that if we refresh others, we will be exhausted. As an aside, if you're someone who gives and gives and gives, let others refresh you for a change. But the Bible says that if we refresh others, we will be refreshed. Our heart attitude is very important. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7 says that we shouldn't give reluctantly or because we feel we have to, for God loves a cheerful giver. Years ago, before sat -navs, my daughter Lucy asked me to give some friends a lift to Battersea. I agreed and we set off in the car. It took ages. We just couldn't find the house and I was very grumpy. When we got home, Lucy said, you didn't have to do it, Mum. Either do it with good grace or say no. That's a great rule of thumb. Give willingly and you will find that you are blessed. I often think about what she said when I'm trying to decide whether to do something. I'm an English teacher and I was asked to give some English classes to a group of Sudanese refugees. I thought, hmm, I don't know if I want to do that. It'll take me time to prepare, etc, etc. But then I prayed about it and decided to go for it with a positive attitude. I had a great time. It was a huge privilege to be welcomed by this lovely group of women. As I refreshed them and was generous with my time, I was greatly blessed. And I thank God for giving me the opportunity of being with them. Not many of you are English teachers, but we all have gifts and skills that we can share with others. All of us can share a verse with a friend, for example. Recently, I shared a couple of verses with a friend who was having a hard time, and she responded with, those were perfect. Thank God and thank you. I really needed something like that today. I refreshed her and showed her that I care, and I too was refreshed. Is there someone God wants you to refresh this week? Who? How? Ask God to put someone on your mind and experience God refreshing you as you refresh someone else.